Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and our soon coming King. My God, my God, it is a privilege and a honor to be here one more time just to declare some encouraging words to God's people um, that are struggling in this time in fear and, and worried. Uh, I have a powerful topic that I really want to get across. Um, don't worry. God is always on time. Trust Him. Don't worry. God is always on time. Trust Him. Do you trust God? Do you, do you believe in God? Why worry when you can pray? Uh-huh. Don't worry. God is always on time. God is always on time. Don't worry. God is always on time. Trust Him. The Lord laid this topic on my heart for a period of time now. And I feel I want to empower the people of God in this time and also in this season. What? Why are you worrying when your God is here? Now let's turn the Bible to Philippians. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Be anxious or be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made. Let your requests be made knowing unto God. Are you allowing God? Uh-huh. By making your request be known unto God. Why are you worrying? Let's continue here in verse 7. In Philippians chapter 4. Verse 7. And the peace of God. Which passeth all understanding. Shall keep your heart. And mind. Through Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm saying to you. Why are you worrying? When your father is a million here. Why are you casting down yourself? Plunge yourself in worried. And you know that your father got your back. My topic tonight is. Don't worry. God is always on time. Trust him. Trust him. I want to empower your spirit tonight. I want to empower your spirit wherever you are. That God is an on time God. Now let's get into the Bible a little bit. Let's a little bit meaning about worrying. The meaning of worrying or the meaning of worry. A feeling or a cause to feel anxious. Because anxious is worry. Or trouble about actually or potentially problems or issues or circumstances. Is. That's what worry does. Glory to God. What is the best description of worry? Worry is a mental distress, oppression, depression, suppression, uh -huh. resulting from concerning unusual for something impending or anticipated. You see, I want you to understand that worry is what killing off a lot of believers, a lot of unsafe in this time. You don't need to worry. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 said that. The Lord said, For I know the plans I have for you. Plans not to hurt you, but plans to give you a hope and a future. Why are you worrying? Uh -huh. And the Lord said that in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. My God, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. Do you trust God? Do you believe in God? Uh-huh. The hurt is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Why are you worrying? I said, the hurt is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Why worry? Uh -huh. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Cast your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Cast your cares upon him. Cast your burdens upon him. All who are every burden and every laden 
and I will give you rest. Don't you want peace of mind? Don't you want stability in your mind? Oh, cast your cares upon him. The enemy wants you to worry and fret to death. I don't want you to worry. I don't care how much bills you may have. Trust God. Lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways you should, you should acknowledge him. Uh -huh. Why are you worrying when God don't want you to worry? Now, what are the spiritual effects of worry? What are the implications that will cause a person to worry? Uh -huh. What are the effects, what it causes upon you? Is an emotional attachment. Why are you attaching your mind to something out of your control? <coughs> out of your control. Uh -huh. It's an emotional attachment, lack of unwillingness to put forward consistent effort, lack of faith, and ultimately a lack of understanding. Of our life in God's works. God's works is different from your works. For he know the plans he have for you. Plans not to hurt you, but plans to give you a hope and a future. Why are you worrying? Over the bills? Over the light bill? Over relationships? Uh-huh. Over the land? Over the house? Over the over your health? You don't understand this. You don't need to worry. The enemy wants you to worry while God wants your mind to be at peace. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3. My mind is on perfect peace that stayed on him. How your mind is on God? How your mind is on God? God is a present help in time of trouble. How you... The, the enemy wants you to fret to death. Causing stress and depression because he begins to worry. You don't need to, to worry about anything. Something you have to remind yourself. I'm a pilgrim stranger passing through. You can't make worry grip your life so much. We will call it anxiety. Be anxious for nothing. Be not worried over nothing. You're worried over the simplest things in life. Causing headaches. Causing pain. Uh -huh. Causing fear to grip you. Worry about your education. Worry about your relationship. Worry about the business. Worry about the dreams. Worry about your kid's life. Huh? God don't want you to worry. Let's get into some scriptures just for your knowledge a little bit here. Just for your knowledge a little bit here. And seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything shall be added unto you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Why worry when you can pray? Why worry when you can pray? I don't want you to worry. The enemy want you to worry and cuss yourself. You don't need to do that. Uplift your spirit. Uplift your spirit. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, David saw that Zip, Ziploc was burned down flat. His home was burned down flat. His wife been taken away by the enemy. Mm -hmm. Children, cattle, everything was taken by the enemy. David went home with coming off a war with his fellow soldiers there behind him. They turned against him. David after went into the upper room and begins to encourage himself in the Lord. You see, sometimes when you're going through stuff, you don't need a company. Only thing that you need is a voice and a faith. You don't even have to speak out loud. You just can speak in your mind. And God will hear. Because God can read your mind. Why are you worried? Why are you casting yourself to end up into the graveyard? Why are you casting yourself by causing this depression by worrying and stress to be upon your life? Plunging your illness to get worse while God wants you to be better. 
You don't understand that. No one can rewrite your life. It's only God can rewrite your life. We have to learn to declare things in the atmosphere. I am better. You see, worry is what grips and kills most of you guys. And God sent me here just to empower your spirit. Stop worry. Stop worry. For you know the plans that he has for you. Plans not to hurt you. But plans to give you a, a hope and a future. Stop worry yourself. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Stop worry. It's causing headache. It's causing pain. It's causing heartache. You're worried about some simplest things in life. You're afraid. You're worried to start over. You are worried. Let me say this. Is sometimes in life, you have to hit rock bottom to build yourself right back up. I said sometimes in life, you have to hit rock bottom because something is missing from the foundation for God to rise you up to a different level. Then bury alive, but you're still breathing. Stop worry. Then pick you up. Then bunk you down, but you're a hard man or a hard woman to, to die. Why? Because what? You are worried? Don't worry. And can't kill you. If God be for you, no devil in hell can be against you. Family rise up against you. Spouses rise up against you. You can make it in this time and in this season. Stop worry. Stop worry. Stop worry. I'm seeing too much person being worried in these days. And I, I, Job, 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 do, do it as well. Let me find a scripture. Job does it as well. This is what Job said. In Job chapter 7 verse 11. Job chapter 7 verse 11. Therefore I will not refrain from my mouth. You're worried to let start cause on yourself. Uh -huh. I will speak in my anguish. In my ang in, in, in the things that me hungry, me upset because you're worried. You're, you're, you're in pain. Fear. Right? In the anguish of my spirit. Uh -huh. Because you begin to worry. God don't want you to worry. Uh -huh. I will complain in bitterness. Do we worry? You start complaining in bitterness. Uh -huh. Bitterness of your soul. Glory be to God. Now look at verse 12. In Job chapter 7 verse 12. Am I a sea? Have you ever feel like fish out of water because you're worried? Have you ever feel lost? Uh huh? Are a whale. Glory be to God. There is some stuff that is popping up on my screen. Glory be to God. So I want you to understand. Stop worrying yourself. Let's get back to the scripture. The enemy doesn't want me to encourage your spirit. From worry. So it pops up with these things. Stop worry. My topic is that don't worry. God is always on time. You worry about your ministry. You worry how oh, you're going to make it. Stop worry. God is always on time. No, Job as well has been worried a lot. You won't, you won't be the first. And you won't be the last. Let's continue here. Greetings. Pass Apostle um, Jackson, my God, my God, mighty, mighty, mighty man of God. Greetings, greetings also to Apostle um, um, Barton, prophetess, apostle. Greetings, woman of God. Right? Let's continue here about worry. So Job has plunged into worry, plunged into depression. I'm reading, I'm reading from Job. Job chapter 7. I'm at verse Verse 12. Whale well, that is set to watch over me. Ah, uh, have you ever feel like fish out of water? You feel lost? Feel like you're, you're you know in prison. You feel like you, the whole world is caving upon you because of worry. That's what the enemy wants for you to worry in this time. I believe that you can make it. Let's continue here. And this is what many of you, when you begin to worry, this is what's ease your pain. And it never works. It never works. Let's continue here in verse 13. Job chapter 7 verse verse 30. Verse 13. When I say my bed shall comfort me. How many times are you trying to use a bed to comfort the worry? 
How many times you, you try to use your bed? You don't want to go to church. You don't want to come out of your house. You lack in worry and fear and depression and stress and oppression and suppression. So you take your bed feet. You don't want to go to work. You don't want to go visit nobody. You don't even want to go to the outside even to water the flowers then. Because what? Your worry begins to worry your minds down. It begins to kill your spiritual man. Causing your heart to skip a beat or flat a beat. Right? So Job used his bed to try and comfort him and it doesn't work. He also used his, my coach shall ease my complaint. Some of you use your coach, your coach, to ease your complaint and it never works. You're in ministry. You fret to death. Till you start marking and dry down. Greetings, prophetess, lot of your Edwards. Why are you worrying? God doesn't want you to worry. Worry is what kills a lot of us as believers, a lot of us as people of God, a child of God. Whether you're unsaved and also Christians, worry. The Lord doesn't want you to worry. Why worry when you can pray? Why worry? When you can pray, trust Jesus, he will lead the way. Don't be like doubtful Thomas, who sit upon his promise. Why worry, worry, worry? When you can pray, you don't understand that. Stop worry. Stop worry. My God, then, then scared me with dreams and terrifies me through vision. Verse 14. Because you worry, you can't even sleep at night. You torment, you twist, you turn. Sleepless nights. Because you are worry. Let me say this to you. Stop worry. Stop worry. The devil is I said, stop worry. Stop worry. You're like a tree that planted by the rivers of water. Stop worry. What shall separate you from the love of God? Not heights, not deaths, not principality. Stop worry. You are more than a conqueror through Christ that loves you. Why? Stop worry. Your weapons are not carnal, but mighty through God of pulling down strong wool. Stop worry. Stop worry. I shall look up unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Stop worry. The Lord is a present help in time of trouble. Stop worry. Stop worry. Stop worry. My God, you are the head and not the tail. Stop worry. He that keepeth Israel shall keep it thee. Stop worry. Stop worry. I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor seen begging bread. Stop worry. If I can clothe the, the grass of the field and throw it into an oven, much less you is unmade, it's creation. Stop worry. Stop worry. God is an untimed God. I know you may lose your loved ones. I know it's a little bit tedious because you, it, it's a part of you that missing. Uh-huh. But stop worry. You see, I want you to understand that the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh-huh. What did he try to destroy? One. The first thing that the enemies try to do is to attack your joy. J-O-Y. You know why? Because if you have joy, there is no worry. If you begin to have joy in your heart, joy in the Holy Ghost, in season and out of season, all things work together for good for those who love the Lord. If you have joy, your joy is your strength. The meaning of joy is strength. When you have joy in your spirit, the enemy can't understand or can't test you because you're always smiling. You always have this pleasant look. You're always laughing. Uh -huh. You take it light. Many persons in this world can't even laugh, can't even smile, and then go to church every day. Like them face dropping a lime juice. Every time you see some Christian, them face skin up. As be a screw, like a screwdriver. Why are you allowing your enemy to attack your joy? I don't care about the bills. Your bills is not more precious than your joy. I don't care about the relationship. 
Your relationship is not as important like your joy. Your job is not is as important like your joy. All if your health are gone on, it is not as important like your joy. You, you know why? Because if the enemy attack your joy, he begins to attack your peace. Because if there is no gladness and happiness, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. If you don't have happiness in your life, you will not have peace of mind. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3. My mind is on perfect peace that stayed on him. James chapter 1. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. When you are unstable, that means you're full of worry. Then now when the enemy attack your peace, which is begins for you to worry now, then it gets what? You can't love nobody around you. Because the trick of the enemy is that if there is no hope and there is no love, you begin to isolate, isolate yourself. Want to be alone? Lock up in your room? Lock up in your bathroom? Do we all worry creep some of us? We don't even want to bed. You're locked down in your bedroom so much you don't even want to wash clothes. You don't even want to take care of yourself again. You're worried and lacking fear and depression and worrying. Uh huh. You don't even want to brush your teeth again. That's how dangerous worry comes. Come with him, friend. Confuse John. God is not the author of confusion. Then who he is? The devil. Stop worry. There are some things that you can't do about. You just have to just ride on the storm. And if you don't have a problem, then how will you know that God will solve them? Huh? If you don't have a problem, how will you know that God will solve them? You know, this is a quote that I always quote. Listen to it keenly. And this will help you and this will benefit you. This is a quote. Worry does not empty tomorrow. Worry does not empty tomorrow. Of its problems or issues. So worry does not empty tomorrow. Of its problems or sorrow or loss. Or grief. It doesn't. It empties today. Today it empties worry empties today it's your strength if your strength gone you will not eat properly if your strength gone and worry begins to pile up in you the enemy wants you to have a mental breakdown or a mental disorder that's why it attacks your mind. God doesn't want you. Huh? God doesn't want you to be sad in any means, anyhow. Right? God knows best for your life. And that's why I can say that in, in Psalms 45, verse 1. Psalms 46, my, my apology. My, Psalms 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in time of trouble. God is our refuge. Our safety. Uh, our protector. Right? And strength. In your strength. Because they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like an eagle. Right? A present help. In time of trouble. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most I shall abide at the shadow of the Almighty. Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. Strength. You're looking for love, looking in, in the wrong place. Jesus Christ is the best love. Worrying over the man, worrying more over the woman. There is no greater love than when a man laid on his life for a friend. John 3, 16, For God's soul of the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed on him should not perish but have everlasting life. 
I'm talking about worry here a little bit. Worry. God doesn't want you to worry. I said God doesn't want you to worry. You know, I want to say this still. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25. Proverbs chapter 12. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25. Heaviness in the heart of a man make it its stop. Because of worry, the heaviness in a you make you can't function. You feel like life give up on you. The Lord doesn't want you to worry. Let's continue here just for a moment or two. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Uh -huh. But a good word make it, it glad. I'm giving you a good word here. Faith is a substance and everything that things not, not seen. I'm talking about faith. You're down in the valley. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 4. Hope in your mouth and prophesy unto these dry conditions, these things that is causing fear and worry in your heart. Oh, he jibe on here, the word of God. Job chapter 22, verses 28. I shall decree a thing and it shall be established. You can decree it and it shall come to pass. Stop worrying yourself. Job chapter 5, destruction and famine, I shall laugh. Job chapter 5, destruction and famine, I shall laugh. Things now go right, Mr. La laugh. Me not get enough money, but me still a laugh. No money not in my pocket, but me still a laugh. Everybody reject me and fabricate lies, but I'm still, I'm still laughing. Some person want to take down my ministry, but I'm still laughing. Uh -huh. Some person attack my credibility, my credibility and my character, but I'm still laughing. Some person pass my, but I'm still laughing. Some person want me to walk in their shadow, but I'm still walking. And I'm still in the presence of God. What am I saying is that I'm giving you a reason for you to laugh. For you to stop to worry. I say you can make it man. Each day that you get up. It's a privilege. I don't take anything light in this time. Or in this season. I laugh. I smile. Even You see. You see I try my very best to have a mind where God wants me to be. I said that I want to have a mind that we are God wants me to be. The enemy wants you to have a mental breakdown. And God doesn't want that for you. I said the enemy wants you to have a mental breakdown. And God doesn't want that for you. Happy yourself, man. Yes, the society is always of its ups and downs. And if you don't have a problem, how would you know that God will solve them? Don't worry. God is always on time. Trust Him. Lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your way, you must acknowledge Him. For this is the confidence that I have in Him. That if I ask anything according to His will, he will hear us. God hears is not sure to hear you. He know your circumstances. He know your issues. He know your problem. He know what is the chaos that is happening around you. He know. Stop worrying about the bills, the light bill, the water rate, the rent, the loan. Trust God. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. The enemy wants you to attach yourself to worry. So you don't trust God anymore. You see, I have learned to trust God. In 1 Kings chapter 17, if Elijah can trust God by allowing himself to be led by God to end up in a, into a cave where there is no neighbor, no life of the normal society as you see it, uh -huh, no families, no friends, but Elijah was in a cave. But Elijah did not worry. Uh -huh. Elijah trust God. And Elijah. Hello God. To take good care of him. 
God sent a bird known as a raven to feed Elijah when he was hungry. God allowed a brook of water to flow so when he's thirsty, he can bathe, he can drink. Uh huh. What am I saying is that why are you trusting even the very bed? You trust your coach more than you trust God. And that's why you keep on worrying. And I'm saying this to you in a little nutshell. Right? Many of you guys trust even the church cheers. You went there Sunday, you don't know if it have a that, that you don't even know if the cheer have a crack, or it's weak, or one screw loose. You don't know. Or any cheer at all. It doesn't have to be in your church. Any cheer at all. You, you don't even know if termite eat on the cheer. You don't know. But yet still, I can tell you this. Yet still, the first thing that you do, you, you just go and sit down on it. Greetings, Prophet. Greetings, Prophet Robert Stevenson. Greetings, Father Keith Cameron. Greetings to Webb and Brown and The Wire. Greetings to all of you guys. Greetings. Greetings to Sister Green. Yeah, and you trust a cheer more than all you trust God. And guess what happened? Huh? Why don't you trust the man that makes you? He's the chief physician. He's the doctor of your life. He's the art and the finish of your life. God doesn't change. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Stop worry. Don't worry, man. Them fight you in ministry. Don't worry. He said, God said, leave all vengeance unto him. Why are you worrying? You feel like ministry not paying you enough. So probably you go and look at work. If God call you into full-time ministry, he will must take care of you. He knows you. Stop burdening yourself with something that is unnecessary. Let me say this. If you can go through this lifestyle without have one person, things to worry about. You win a great battle already. Because as a warrior, as a soldier, you have to be mentally prepared by keeping out some demons out of your mind. And you don't realize that some demons that are entering into the spiritual realm in your mind or in your ears or in the eye gate is worry, fear, confusion, bitterness, mm -hmm, suppression, depression, suicide, Murder. These are internal demons that you have to fight daily to get rid of. Stop worry. You're moving, coming back to the, probably your own country. And you're wondering, how am I going to manage? Stop worry. Stop worry. I see great purpose in your life. God will turn your scars into stars. God will make your lot be greater. You may be delayed, but you're not denied. Stop worry. Stop worry. Stop worry. Every disappointment is a mighty appointment. Stop worry. Every setup is a step. Every setup is a step up. Stop worry. You may lose some weight, but you can't lose faith. Stop worry. I believe that you can make it. Stop worry. You don't need for anybody to say that you are special. I'm a vessel of man. That's what some person may say. But when you live in the presence of God, you become a vessel of honor, which means that you are a vessel of God. Some persons are a vessel of man. Yeah, you know why? Because they're taking man opinion. But when you are a vessel of God, then God will speak to you and tell you that you can make it. You can make it. When man reject you, God elect you. Stop worry. God take you from nothing to something. Stop worry. God will make your dreams and turn it into reality. Stop worry. Stop worry. Stop worry. Stop worry. If God be for you, then who can be against you? You don't understand that. Job lose everything. Job, Job lose his children. All of his children, you just probably lose one family relatives. 
one mother or probably a father or probably a son probably a daughter but somebody close to you die and you're behaving like the world is at is is is, is ending up on you ready to commit suicide the devil is a liar stop worry job lose all of his children one behind each other not one today and one next week i want today i want tomorrow same time job lose all of his biological children them job lose all of his cattle. all of his livelihood has gone somebody rob you and take all of your livelihoods uh-huh put your down on your face but god is saying don't worry don't worry you can make it man i believe you can make it if god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth if you worship a true and living god watch him work he is your provider if you have just faith because faith and worry can mix if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you shall say to your mountain thou shall be removed that's why i always say this me not worry me not fret jesus never fails me yet oh me not worry me not fret jesus never fails me yet oh me not worry me not fret jesus never fails me yet me not worry me not fret jesus never fails me yet stop worry stop worry it causing your mental capacity to break down it causing your body to deteriorate it causing hemorrhage to begins to develop in your body you're bleeding right you stop worry yes i know you lost a child yes i know that you want to give that child to that man you lost it or yes i know that it's your only child that you will probably may have but stop worry p9 i never worry right penina mark anna my my apology but anna never worry first samuel chapter one penina mark anna because anna couldn't get a pitney she could have been worrying about it you know what she does she take everything to the lord in prayer she went up to the to the church to the synagogue begins to pray and the lord opened up back her home to have the promised one known as hell known as from Al qaeda his name is samuel that's how samuel samuel was one he was the promised one and no matter how much pitney pina and a half and mac and anna anna trust god do you trust god do you trust god is syria was in age could not get a child she worried about she did not worry she trust god she questioned but she trust god and god allow her to bear uh-huh isaac why are you worrying about elizabeth was in age elizabeth could not have a child but yet still uh-huh god allow elizabeth to have bear john the baptist why are you worrying why are you worrying somebody throw you out of the house you won't be the first you won't be the last stop worry i know most of you may be homeless probably in the snow probably on the street uh-huh but god says stop worry man trust god no man trust and believe the bible says what in in judges chapter 11 there was a man known as jephthah them threw jephthah out of the house a man of god then throw him out of the house you may be thrown out of your church building and the reason why i'm saying it's why many of you guys and many of you ministers are worrying like crazy and you know what you, you know what you does you begin to hide behind your tablet or behind your devices preaching don't want to put your foot back in a church god didn't call you to be behind a device god did not call you to the behind facebook and TikTok only God did not call you man of God and woman of God who are plunging feared and don't and are afraid to step back out so that you hide behind your phone or your device, your tablet, your computer. 
they behind TikTok and, 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 and all of this because you're afraid to step out. The devil is a liar. So you use these TikTok and Facebook as a local shield. The devil is a liar. Because you don't want to go into a church to be hurt. Or you don't want to be shunned. Then how can you know that if you're a true warrior? How would you know that God really calling you? God did not call you to be on device only. God called you to be in the church. How it is good for brethren to dwell together in unity. In Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. It is bad manners to forsake the assembly of God. How can we walk together if we don't come in the same place to agree? So you worry about it so you hide behind your cellular phone. You worry about it so you hide behind your device. You hide behind it because you begin to smile but deep down, you worry I kill you. I hate you down like cancer. I mash up your meds. I mash up your brain space. I mash up your thinking. Glory be to God. You see, I believe that God is doing something new. In this season. I feel led to. I believe this woman of God of great words. Great, great, great things in her. I believe so. And I feel led to hallow her to be on this issue. Allow it. Don't worry. Greetings, my daughter. How are you doing, mighty woman of God? I'm good, man of God. Oh my God. No, watch, no, no, watch, no, watch a piece. Understand, that's how God works. Amen. That's how God works. You see, you see, God don't work like man. I'm not seeing your face. Can you, can't, you can't carry the, Yes, man. May the world see your natural color. That's how God works. God moves things in a way that we least expect. Amen. It. One of God, you have great works in you. Amen. Massive works in you. Then put you down, they ostracize, then criticize, then memorize, then set you up. You don't, you, you know, then neglect your people that you put your trust in, then walk out upon you. We all know. But if God be for you, no devil in hell can Amen. be against you. Amen. Even when you want to give up, you still push on. You push through your pain, you push through your hurt, you put a smile even when you're dying. You still put person first. The same and the same person with your feet at them turn by you. And you still stand. You have great ministry in you. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you doubt yourself. We are all human beings, we go through the period of that. Yeah. But God is saying, start with some conference, man. And then your building come. Start with your conference and your building will come. And Amen. sometimes God don't want person to really to attach to you. And right now I know you, you are praying for genuine people. I know you don't trust even leaders. You have a hard time trusting even leaders, leaders. And you have been discussing with God these days with that. Sharaba Shindai. You are a warrior for God. Don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is going to be alright. But both personal and both otherwise. Amen. I know. I, I know. Sometimes they, them pocket is strapped for cash, but that's how it go. God know best, and, and I know persons around you because they feel that like, that you have money. But if they even know, greetings, Apostle Wendell, my brother Dave, in the care of the Holy Ghost. They can't step it this year, and whenever they hurt you. You have, a nice, you have a decent style to deal with it. You lock down, you know, you just lock down yourself and show yourself on people. God doesn't want it for you. The ministry that is in your belly, no normal. Go and look for the rumbibas. 
the whore and the prostitute, you'll you get along with them better. Person that has been raped, molested, go look for them. And stop revolve yourself around Christian people because not every one of them nice. Because every time you build something, they begin to want to tear it down. You can't tell some of them you're your dream either. Always have a car close to your chest. You can't make them see it. Because persons run with people's ideas and dreams like a them one. You know what I'm talking. You're a mighty woman of God. This is your season. This is your time. And as and I will always tell this as I encourage people. Any demon trouble, you trouble them back. Now back down. Is one thing that I've learned about a lot of Christians. One or two love it, dovey. You notice that it's not all the angels that move alike, my daughter. Notice that Gabriel was a messenger. Michael was not a messenger. No. Michael was a war boat. That's why he kicked out Satan. Well, me and Michael. <laughs> Mr. Light. Let's so come. Mighty God. Jesus Christ has 12 disciples. And me no want to be, I don't want to be Peter. Sorry, I don't I don't want to be Matthew. I don't want to be Luke. I don't want to be John. I want to be Peter. I want to chop off the man ears. Me no ordinary. And God said, you're no ordinary. It's time for Christians to have to be soft soap. Call on judgment upon them. It's not all the time God loves people. Let me warn the people of God. And let me warn you, my daughter. And not all the time because you can love person, but you're not in love with them. That you can't tell them the truth. You're worried, you know, man. Then put it on, you know, man. If you follow some people right now, probably you're going to give up on Christianity. You put them on fly and you put them on your platform and then still them still kill you. You try to help them and they still kill you. You try to get churches ideas and them still kill you. You know, normal. I hear night tonight look at that was a gift. So God says it's time for you to what? To get now. To build you. Amen. When last people pray for you. Everybody everybody want you for prayer. Everybody want what about you? Is your refilling time now? Because in the valley, he restored my soul. As, as dark as the midnight, stop worry. You worry about the kids, you worry about this, you worry about that. Let me see. That's a, leave that to God. Let me ask you a question all Facebook here. And even you, my daughter. Huh? When you was a child, what you was as a baby. I will just give birth. I will give birth. Does that child depend on himself or does that child depend on the parents? The child depends on his parents. God is saying to us to tonight, we are children of God because God don't call adults. God calls children. Greetings, Apostle Sheldon. God calls children of God. God wants us to depend upon him. Are you depending upon him, my daughter? Depend upon him. Amen. The enemy wants to twist and turn near bed. You itch upon your bedside. When the bedside can't take it, you take it to the bathroom. You sit down upon the, upon the toilet seat. See where you have your hand. <laughs> I'm seeing you just. As I'm seeing your file just as I'm seeing you. Literally. I reverse every headache. I reverse every dizziness. I reverse every bad feeling. You are special. You are 
are special. You are unique and you are wonderfully made in the image and likeness. Amen. And I'm praying for real people to come around you. Let me say this. Is that everybody real is real. Because I'm seeing the whole thing sheep clothing. I'm seeing snake on the grass. I'm seeing crab in a barrel. And let me say this to you. The God have to take you through this for you to have an experience. Yeah. To know how to deal with your own yeah. ministry. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say this to you. And, and, and any man of God can tell you. Stop worrying. Stop worry. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. God is always on time. God don't work off a time. Me and you work off a time. That's why we get whole. That's why God is an untime God because God is time. That's why we always say it's just a matter of time because God is time. God does, doesn't age. Sean David. Be you see the eyes that you have? They're not normal. You can see things before it actually happened. You have this weird anointing over your life that when things are not going right, your body becomes shaky. You, you, you begin to feel this nervousness. You, you just know something's not right. Yes. It's, like there's a, it's, it's like an alarm. It's true. It's weird. You know, you know what I call it? Weird. <laughs> Weird. Mm. You don't need to prove to nobody here. You just need to prove to God. Amen. I'm allowing you to speak, my daughter. This is the time to speak. Okay. And brothers and sisters, I'm I am I am always like this. Who are you watching? You can follow this great woman of God because I believe that if we are kingdom of God or if we are people of God, we should follow each other. And that's all I believe. I believe. As a man of God, as a servant of God, I believe, right, to lift up people that has been hurt, people that have the same mindset. The kingdom of God is not only for me. People who follow me and my page is not for me. Follow her as well. Follow um, um, Apostle Wendell as well. Amen. Follow Apostle Sheldon as well. These uh, follow uh, uh, um, Prophetess uh, um, Barton as well. Apostle Barton as well. Follow them as well. I believe so. Go ahead, woman of God. I'm giving you the privilege. Amen. Blessings, prophet. Blessings, apostle. My apologies. Man of God, Listen, you're right. It's, let me say this to you. Although you make, you may say mistake, prophet or whatever. I'm just a simple servant of God. Okay. You see, I don't run down tigers, although I have them. Amen. So if you call me, brother, read me see you, man. Go ahead. Amen. Oh Lord, just thanks, thanks for your obedience, man of God. Just to um, you know, just to encourage me. Um, I was saying to God, God, who are you sending to rescue me? I said that last night, and you're the second person that called me today. Um, well, get in contact with me today, just to let me know that you know you're praying for me, and you know I'm, I thank God for um just using you as a vessel, just to speak yes. life. I'm I let me just say I might have to confront some things offline with you, but no problem. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I got and, uh, everything good for eat, good for talk. We can't talk everything on Facebook because the spies them and the hypocrite them and the parasite them and the jubicide them and the Jesse Bell them out there and listen and the people in town them and it... go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so um just thank God for your obedience. I'm grateful. Yes. I'm grateful. Yes. Um, you just don't know what you just did for me just now, but I'm just giving God thanks. And I'll talk to you after the year. No problem. No problem. Stay blessed. Amen. Stay strong. Thank you. Yes, man. Glory. You see, I believe my platform, I'm just here just to build people. And that's my mission. That, that's, I'm campaigning for Jesus. And that is my mission let me invite my 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 truly brother here i believe that as man of god my platform is not for me alone my platform is for to share the gospel and allow persons who are leaders to be on the platform as well answer man of god i don't know if you can answer because the world need to know 
for your apostle. I've been that he's a little bit busy, but never, then, never, never, it is a man of God. I will always be. I'm looking for my sister here. I'm not seeing her. I if she can send me. Apostle Barton, can you send me? Oh, yes, I saw her. I believe so. These are warriors. These are warriors. These are warriors. You can send me a request to Apostle Wendell. Dave, 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 Wendell. Um, greetings, my greetings, Apostle. Good night, good night, Apostle. I am not hearing you clearly. The world not seeing you. Hold on, I have to put my light on. Remember, my time is different. Okay. Yes, um, see with her um, Facebook family. She is not in the Caribbean. She's in, in a far country. So her language and her time frame is different from ours. <laughs> so give her some time so that she can just change probably where you are. It's morning yeah. and where she are is night. Yeah. So her time frame is a little bit different. But I believe as a man of God, I believe God has called me to release people and to empower people people and to help people in their ministry and that's my calling i'm an apostle ordained apostle but yet still i am an evangelist i'm like paul i want to be like paul paul was an apostle evangelist you know and this is what man of god and woman of god must do when they see true vessels of god woman of god i will call her back a little bit here till you're ready glory to god but let 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 let, let, let me see if i can get my for the while my sweat why my why my properties is getting ready because i believe that there's a remnant word coming up from these mighty powerful people of god greetings apostle greetings man of god greetings god. to you sir the world need for no oil. <laughs> it's good when you it's good when you're when you're on the side you know <laughs> it's good when on the side jesus is on the job mm -hmm. you know he's on the job so we're campaigning for jesus yes, yes. amen and and that is that is that is that is all we need to do right now very importantly we need to just mm -hmm. campaign for jesus on this on this time in this time amen we don't want a messiah to lead us in our country either my god yes. my god so we got to pray i said to somebody tonight we're going to pray out the messiah out of jamaica S stick up right there people are calling the prime minister in this beautiful country of ours the messiah and that's why the man of god is using it because i know that i don't person may not understand they are calling a man that is the prime minister of this country the messiah and that is blasphemy go ahead go ahead man man of god so we are not going to accept that. We're not going to accept that. When I, as somebody said to me, why why is it that um it's not him telling telling them to call him that? But then I said to the person that if I hear you calling me the, the, the um he accepted bro God. So I mean the Messiah, you're gonna accept it just the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so and once you once you get to that level, God said He will share His glory with no man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are chatting on dangerous grounds. Mighty God, dangerous grounds. So I I can say it. I'm campaigning for Jesus, God's holy plan, mm -hmm. and that is where I'm at. That is what I'm up for. That is what. If you are not going to campaign for Jesus, then that's fine with me. You can go. And I like that, you know, because if we are campaigning for Jesus, right, we must get people to join the camp. And stay on one accord. And stay on one accord. That's right. So, man of God, as you see the topic that's, that, 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 that you have passed on to me um, the other night, don't worry. God is always on, on time. Yeah. Trust him. What do you have to say about that topic? Well, you see, we go through some some very challenging times, mm -hmm. and sometimes we feel like we are alone in the desert. But yes. that topic came and said, "Don't worry, God is always on time." My God, it doesn't, God. It doesn't matter the time that we have. 
Because sometimes we tend to want to have time. We want to say, okay, God, I need this to be done. But God said, it's not your timing, but it's my timing. Yes. He can be four days late, but he's an on-time God. Always on time, my God. What happens, he's, an, he's a God that will never fail. He will never let you down. If it doesn't mm -hmm. happen, that means that it is not God's will or it's not his timing yet. He, he doesn't allow it yet. And so we got to be, as children of God, we got to be very, very careful. And mm -hmm. I said this to somebody today as well. I said, when you dishonor the man of God, you're dishonoring mm -hmm. God. Because he, if God ordained this man as the man of God, you are dishonoring God. My God. Amen. So, so we got to understand, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. God is in control. I'm seeing it, I'm sensing it, and I'm believing it. And, I'm, and, I, and, I, and I don't know, for some reason, the Spirit of God is, is, is operating in me this evening. And I want to tell somebody, don't worry. God is on the job. Is on the I don't know who that is for. And it's an untimed job. And as the man of, and as Apostle has said, uh, um, um, Apostle Wendell has said, let me, let me say this, we are campaigning for Jesus. Amen. And, and if you want a Zoom platform to be on, you can just look for Wendell. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, do you want to give out, give out us information on your church, where your church is? Because church is I believe that if we are campaigning for Jesus, and if we are working as a team, I believe that we should build each other. If you notice, Satan has never fight against Satan. Mm -hmm. It's only Christian fight against Christian. Baptist fight against Seventh-day. Seventh-day fight against uh, um, Adventist. Adventist fight against Pentecostal. Right? When mm -hmm. the unsaved is having their rum drinking stuff, they close down bar. We call it Ron, Ron Robin. And support other clubs and other and Christian don't support. So I am giving the man of God the privilege to give out this information. It's church name. Um, um, his church name is Zoom, so people can message him and be on a platform to get some word early in the morning. Go ahead, man of God. Well, well, the the ministry is the ministry is Zaymar worship ministry. Zaymar means to worship. It means to praise as well. So we are Zaymar worship ministry. We are located in. Plum Valley, Buff Bay. Um, that's in Portland. Amen. And we are on from Monday to Friday every morning from 5.30 to 6.30 each morning on, um, on our Zoom platform that we pray. Um, we pray and intercede. Amen. For our country, for our loved ones, and for anything that comes up um, in the mornings that we pray for, Hallelujah! This morning was a little bit different. We had um, we just shared a video with um, Apostle Joshua Selman, because I can tell you I was very tired. I, w I, got, I went to bed at two o'clock this morning. I got up back at five thirty for Zoom, so I was really tired. Mighty but God, tell him again, man, tell him again, man, oh God, we were we were from morning Sunday till the night. We reach home very late. The man of God have to drop us each person home. And then even this morning, I have to jump on an exhum this morning to teach as well. <laughs> My God. Pray, man of God. So I mean when you when you have a when you have a call on your life, my friends, I can tell you, when the Lord appoint you and anoint you, it's not easy. It is something very, 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 very seriously serious and um so we, this is why we have to be, as Christians, we got to be careful what we say <clears throat> and how we say what we say about any man or woman of God, because that is very important. Yes. Amen. So at this junction, I, I want to look into, I wanted to say this, that we are a church of the living God. Yes. And the gates of hell shall not, shall not not prevail. My we are God. building on a solid rock. Amen. The devil, if the if you if you are children of God and the devil is not fighting you, check yourself. My God. Check yourself. Don't worry. God is always on time. Always. Amen. Yes. So I want to tell you tonight that everything that concerns you 
And I want to speak prophetically. Anything that concerns your life, listen, whether the devil like it or not, like the man of God said, if the devil trouble me, I got troubled by the devil. Because <laughs> guess what? It is a time, it is a time where we are going to step out. It is a time where we need to come together as a body of Christ. The, 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 the fact is, a lot of us as Christians these days, um, I don't go to that church because this is that and that is that. Hey, people of God, if we are children of God, then we must honor God. And wherever he leads, we must follow. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I might not like, I'm, uh, a person might do things different from me, but does, are we serving the same God? Of course. of course, of course, of course. I mean, every leader has their different gift. I might, Come I on. might not be able to preach like a pastor, uh, but I can tell you, he can probably preach better than me, but he can sing better than me. <laughs> <laughs> that that's true. <laughs> but you know, I mean, it takes, it takes, it takes these two <laughs> things. It takes these two things to come together. Amen. And, and, and I mean, he can preach, I can sing, we can work together to build the kingdom of God. My and it's God. very important, my friends, as well. It is very, very clear and it's very important that if we take into consideration who our God is, who is the mm. King of kings and the Lord of lords, no weapon that form against us shall, shall prosper. My Amen. God. None. And it's not tried and never tried. I didn't say the weapon wouldn't form. A lot of weapons has formed over the last mm. few times. But can I tell you, weapons form, but they cannot prosper. Cannot. And as simple as it is, I, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm scared of nothing right now. Because guess what? I'm campaigning for Jesus. And if the devil trouble you, you're troubling back. If the devil ever trouble me. We are got trouble about the devil. The My devil has been testing and it it has been it has tested and tried. And I want to say this this tonight. It has tested and tried. The devil has tried it. My even today. God. Even today. I said to the I said, devil, not today. I'm I'm not going to try. Yes. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try to even attempt to fight back. I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand my ground. Yes, and allow yes. the Lord to fight my battle. My so, my friends, God. in closing and in closing this, I want to say to all of you tonight: Don't worry. God is always on time. Just trust Him, and He will work it out for you. My God bless you. My God, bless you. God, thank you so much, Apostle. Apostle. Dave Wendell, my God, a mighty man. Let me tell you that this man really love God. He really love God. No nonsense, man. A man that not cut long, not him. I tell you exactly as it is. And as I'm saying to you, that is my motto for this year: is to us, to us, release people in their calling, help to build leaders, and 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 let me say this: I want heaven. That's right. I want kingdom. Mm -hmm. So why are we allowing the enemy to divide us? That's right. Man of God, we got the job because I want to get some more leaders. So we can, we will, we will definitely meet Amen. up. Amen. Amen. Definitely. Blessings, Bless man. Heart. Yeah, man. All Bless right. you. Glory be to God. You see, this is the campaign that I'm on. It's to help to release some mighty warriors that are in the body of Christ. And how can we do that if we're not what working together in unity i'm looking back oh god for apostle glory be to god she must be ready by now this is a mighty woman of god and it's been good so far greetings apostle good night apostle god bless you man of god oh my god she's very very soft spoken but she's very deadly in the spirit don't mm -hmm. watch that <laughs> This is a silent killer. This is a sniper. Sniper, no sniping. She's one of them. Go ahead, woman of God. What do you have to say to the... Let me say this to you. A, um, a pastor here, you can follow her on her page. She's on TikTok as well. I'm going to give her the privilege. Because as I said before, I'm a kingdom building person. Uh, I believe that platform must be shared. It's one even oneness we are working with. One accord. 
one destiny, one, one, one location, one heaven. So I'm going to give her the privilege. And before I go into the topic, um, uh, um, don't worry so that she can give something back to you guys. Go ahead, Uma of God. Amen. Good night. Good night. Good night, each and every one. You can... not, they're not in your face as clearly. Let me just sit up. Yes. <laughs> yes, man. Glory be to Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Go again, ahead. each and every one. Um, you guys can find me on TikTok at Prophetess Barton. I go live, especially on a Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Where I have mm -hmm. a program that's called the Prophetic Encounter. I also have a program on Saturday night that's called Question and Answer, where we feature young Christians to share their testimonies and just to answer some random questions that we have to throw at them on a weekly basis. So, my my, my one of my warriors. Let me say this. Let me say this. Don't worry. God is always on time trusting. What do you have to say about that? I just want to tell somebody tonight that even when we don't see God, he is still working. Because sometimes it used to happen to me I, when I never, when, I, you, when I'm going through a season where I'm not hearing God nor seeing God doing certain things. I used to get agitated and I used to say, I used to search myself and I used to say, what is it that I have done wrong? Where did I fall off? Because God is just so silent. But it's a tactic that the enemy uses against us to bring worry and doubt, not to trust God and what he is doing. So I want to encourage somebody tonight that it's not always going to be chocolate and roses when you're on the journey with God. Sometimes it brings bumps and bruises. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're going to buck your toe. Sometimes your elbows are going to get chipped off. Your knees are going to be rubbed up. But nevertheless, during the process, God is still with you. He said that he will never leave us. Neither will he ever forsake us. So I just want to remind somebody tonight, just to seal your ears to the voice of the devil, just to seal your ears from voices that is not of God that will want to tell you to worry because faith and fear, worry and doubt, they can't work together. They're the opposite of each other. So I want to tell somebody tonight just to pray a little bit longer, fast a little bit longer, tarry a little bit longer in the presence of God and be silent in this season and listen to the voice of God for directions. Mighty God, mighty God. Let me say this. Let love abide in our hearts. Let Amen. love abide in our hearts. Apostle, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, again, do you want to repeat your, your Facebook page, your, 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 your TikTok? Because I believe that the world needs to know about you. Sure, man, I got. So my TikTok is Janiel Barton. Sorry, my Facebook is Janiel Barton. My TikTok is Prophetess Barton. And also my Instagram is Prophetess Barton. Thank you so much, Apostle. And have a beautiful night. Keep on You're watching. Welcome, man, and God. Thank you, and God bless you. Bless you. You see, I believe in releasing people. That's my heart and I'm a child coming up. It just manifests more since I am a man of God. I believe that people's purpose needs to be grown. I believe that there are a lot of persons are going to church earth and this is worrying them. Church earth. Church earth. A must for people. Church earth. People in a church for butcher with their mouth. With an action, and I believe in releasing people in the atmosphere. I believe in releasing leaders in their own perspective, leadership position. My God, my I don't feel I've, I, I've been so awesome, I've been so great. I feel the mighty and the powerful hands of God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God. Oh. Mighty God, let me see if I can call one of my daughters again because I believe that people have great calling upon their life. And 
only thing that they need is someone to help and to believe in them. Yes. Yes. And some of our greetings, someone of God. Mm -hmm. I believe that people need to know the calling upon your life and my life. One God, one Jesus, one Jesus, one Lord, one baptism, one destination, one location. Glory to God. Jesus and answering and moving on. You see, I believe I've been releasing people in their calling. I believe the world must know about people's calling. Glory to God. I don't feel like to call this man of God here. Glory to God. Yes. You see, calling is what God is asking for. A heart. You can't say a love person don't release them. You can't say I love somebody and don't release them. You can't say you're a man of God that really say that you love people. I love, I don't talk the talk. I walk the walk. I don't talk the talk. I walk the walk. You know, something come to, come to me from the other day. And I'm saying, there is a sister of mine. Um, they walk me in an indirect way to be overseer of the ministry, over foreign. Over foreign. Put me. Not even left the country over there. They want me to be the overseer of the ministry. And I said, no. I literally tell the person, no. 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 I'm not running on a church. I, I just come to hell. I come to build. I come to empower. Greetings, minister. Um, Tasha Lee, Richard Cooper. Greetings, mighty woman of God. And I always send a word of encouragement. I thank you so much for your word of encouragement that's helped me to be who I am now. Thank you, Minister Tasha Lee. Tasha Lee, Richard Cooper. Thank you so much, Minister. Let me say this to you. Me and this country yet. And people are asking me to be their overseer. Well, I mean, if you come, come take over church, poor me. Huh? No. I'm just here to be a ministry. I don't want a church. I don't ready for a church. God doesn't give me the mandate. My mandate is to build, empower, to release. That is what I'm doing in this time. This is a season that we need to understand that church out there have only one pastor. And they need persons like me can help to fill the gaps. Whether it's for Ash Wednesday, whether it's for Christmas, whether it's for New Year's. But when all of us are occupied at our church, then who, and then who they can use? If all of us as ministers have a church and you are on your New Year's and you want a fresh preacher or you want a preacher for an event, or you feel ill, or you feel sick because we are human beings, huh? who are you, you going to call when everybody else is occupied in your church? Well, I, 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 I am one of them. <laughs> That the Lord is using to fill these gaps. I am a apostle like Paul, and I'm also an evangelist like Paul. Paul never have a church. Paul has passed through and been and gone. Well, I am one of them. Help, build, empower, right? Treat me, help with them function. I'm mean, gone. I don't want to be an overseer of anybody's church at this point. And if overseas people can ask me, me, me to be the overseer. God didn't tell them that as yet. I'm just a simple man. Just one, the king. People are dying out there out of sin. People are dying out there out of sin. And that location is taken in a layman term in cannot be caught in the United States. For me, asking me in an Indian way. Looking, no, 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 no. That, that will not happen. <laughs> As said, woman of God, God called you to leave, not me. God called you to leave. I'm not here to help. I'm not here to empower. And I have and I have been doing some great work with the woman of God. I have, I've been doing some tremendous work with the woman of God. I, I, I have keep um, meetings 
with some of the leaders that give them the input and the ideas um, um, of all the structures of the church. I have been doing that a lot behind the scene. Um, also to give um, word of knowledge, word of wisdom. Um, um, also give training, like for, in, like for instance, you can't correct, you can't say that you one of your leaders need deliverance. You can't say one of your leaders as your ministers as your evangelists need deliverance and you want to deliver them in a public setting. No. As a leader, as an apostle, or as a pastor, or as a bishop, right, you take your leaders them on a one-on-one -on -one deliverance. Why? Because people use that to judge your leaders and your leaders will what? Will be ashamed. So you have an individual deliverance. And if you're going to correct the leader in such a, in such a way, if you're a leader, then you have to correct them in a more proper format. You have an office. Or you know, have to correct them at the same time. Depends on the situation. You give them to a certain time because of the mood and the, uh, and the mood change that they have probably being upset. So these are some of the tips that I've been giving behind the scene. Right? I'm a true, let me say, I love people from my heart. And I'm going to do my very best that I know that I have. Listen, the enemy knows that he has a short time. The Satan knows that he has a short time. I know that I have a short time because God soon come. Right? As well, I just want to pick up my, my, my sister as well, Apostle Shaina Bennett, a mighty woman of God. Um, I think her, her, her church is also in the United States of America. I'm trying to remember exactly where it is at this point. I think it's God Divine Deliverance Ministry. You can visit her church as well. You can find her page and you can call her and as much as you can. If you're in that area, I want that church to be at. God's, God's Divine Deliverance Ministry. Our, our normal page, Shaina Bennett. You can messenger her and you can have a church to go there. I'm on a move. I am, I'm on a move, right? Right? To us help to empower and to build and to restore people's ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me see if I can invite my, my, my son before I go. I think this may be my, my final. Uh, I believe in releasing people in their calling. I believe in building church and empowering church. And that is my mandate. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't want to think of a nobody church. I just want to empower you guys and let's help to us. Help to stabilize the ship to when reach a certain limit. Glory to God. Man of God, answer. Oh, how many church, how many church pastors are doing this? Very few. Very, 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 very few church leaders are doing this. What I am doing now. But guess what? I am. I'm not doing it because I want to do. It. I'm doing it because it is my mandate to do it. Glory to God. It is time for us as leaders to release people in their calling. Greetings, evangelists. Greetings, man of God. Greetings, greetings. My, my God, you're so, so excited, man. <laughs> yes, yes. Can you, can you give a word of, give a word. What do you think about this topic? Don't worry. God is always on time. Trust him. Give a word of encouragement to God's people here. My God, evangelist. It doesn't make sense we worry. Let me tell you something. I was like this. Everything, everything used to bother me. And Mr. Norman, I get a wall on myself. You know what I'm starting now? Mr. God, just give me strength. Just give me mm -hmm. strength. Me not ask God why again, why this, why that, and the crying and the this. And Norman, Mr. God, give me strength. Sometimes I have to go in my bathroom, I stand up and look in the mirror, and I encourage myself, prophesy to myself. Yes. Speak over my life. Yes. You yes. Know? Understand? Because you as a man of God, you are going through your things too, you know, and a lot of people don't understand that, you know, we all are going through things. Might and we have a relationship with God. We all are mm -hmm. going to try to have a relationship with God. We can't every little thing we run to pastor, we run to this, we run to that. Sometimes pastor needs somebody to talk to, somebody to encourage them. Mighty me, God. Up in my bathroom and me looking at the mirror. Sometimes me I cry. And I say, God, so and so, so and so. And when we see things come through, we say, God, you know, say, Daddy, you know, say, no, he's a ram, so rough man, a ram, me so. You know, I saw me talk to God. Yes. 
Me have got through some things now, but guess what? Me no worry. Yeah. You see what? Worry. I wake up in the morning. Me say, God, give you thanks. I'm a two boy. Them all right. Me say, God, yes. thank you. And me, me, me one or two friends that me know about. And me know say they all right. Me say, me give God thanks. Me not worry myself. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Just ask us strength, man of God. That yes. is that is all I ask God for. Give that, me strength. Mighty God. Thank you so much, woman of God, for that word of empowerment. I'm just releasing person. So person, sometimes people don't want to hear from us. Sure. They want to hear from others. A word of encouragement. Yes. And this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to release leaders. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a best listen. I love people so much. Yes. That yes. I just want people to I just want people to serve God. Oh, you yes. Know, there's no fame, no popularity, no money. It's just to serve God. That's yes. my mandate. Yes. Right? Yes. God bless you, man of God. Thank you so much for the word of encouragement. Okay, man of God. Have a blessed night. Yes. Yes. So uh, this is what I'm trying to release. My almighty God, I just see a mighty, 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 mighty. Lord Jesus, I can't. I don't, I don't know if, if my sister... Apostle Shaina Benny can send me a request. I don't know. I was trying to get her. Listen, I will, I'm, I'm releasing as much leaders as I can. Listen, tomorrow morning, I can get tomorrow morning. God can call me home tomorrow morning. And the work of God have to go on. And if we don't release, begins to come together in unity. Because unity is strength. The only way the enemy can divide us, can defeat us, is to divide us. The only way the enemy the only way Satan can win us is to divide us, right? And, and, and that's why I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a campaigning for Jesus moment. Campaigning for Daddy Jesus. I'm trying to see if I can get my sister in Christ, a mighty woman of God. Whoop. Ah, oh, it's a technical difficulty. It's not getting through, not getting to. But nevertheless, let me try a different, a different way to see if I can get my. This probably she would be my last, um, for tonight, because I, I've been on here for a while now. I'm trying to get her. I believe I believe to release people in their calling. That's my main. That's that's my mandate. That's that is my mandate. Not getting it at all. Glory be to God. I'm trying to change it of God, but not 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 getting through. I'm try, trying to look for the mighty woman of God, but not getting through the change of God. But nevertheless, that's that. So all God works at times, and that's how the adversary is trying to work at times. Let me try one more time. It's giving me the same thing, technical problems. There's so much. It's not me, it's Facebook. It is Facebook. Glory to God. Let me see if I can get this mighty man of God, because I believe in encouraging people. I believe in releasing people. Uh, I don't know if my father Keith can run again. Answer. Because we have a lot of females. We want to get a few more males. Uh, uh, glory be to God. It's ringing. Greetings. Greetings, Father Keith Cameron. Mighty man of God. Daddy himself. Eh? <laughs> Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Daddy, Jesus, kill him with a smile. Kill him with a smile. Jesus. Kill something, Lord God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man, it's good when we can laugh. Man. What encouragement can you give? All right, I was trying to get um, um Apostle um Shaina Bennett, but from earlier I, w I didn't, I didn't get it. Can you tell the people of God where where if if you know where Apostle Shaina Bennett Church is in the United States of America? Because um, I'm trying to, to lead think, people to her ministry. I, I, I think I'm um, a peninsula, you know, peninsula boulevard, something somewhere there, but I don't really acquainted to the, the address like that, you know. Uh -huh. So 
Yeah, if you did get her then probably, you know, she could have really um get it still, but um let me look at let me look for something here if me um get um the address. Peninsula Don't Boulevard worry. Peninsula Boulevard, Amstead, Long Island. Eleven eleven fifty five zero. Yeah. I think it's that's God's 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 divines God's God's divines deliverance ministry that is yes, one sir. of our page again and mm -hmm. I, I know you can find her on her page apostle shaina bennett yes. mighty yeah. god and you can message her and find her in the united states if you don't have a church mm -hmm. home i was trying to get the one that that is in connecticut mm -hmm. but i haven't get through to that individual as yet i was trying to look get information that we can link these persons um, um in, in in connecticut as well because mm -hmm. i believe in church growth right yeah the dance alem, the carnival lem, and all these has been folded. And mm -hmm. we are trying to help show that to build the ministry. Man of God, what do you have to say? Don't worry. God is always on time. Trust him. What do you have to say about that, man of God? You know, in this time we have we all have to stick together. Yes. You know? We all have to stick together because, you know, and send up all of the glory because trust me. You know, in this time, you know, people kinda intend to switch. Yes. You know, and that love they not deep down again for God. Them just call upon God whenever time them down. Yes. But you have to, you have to call upon God all when time you up. No go yes. when you're down. You understand? Yes. Because when you're down and call upon him, you not go really hear your voice like that. You have to keep Mighty calling. God. You have to keep calling, keep calling. That's why me, me go back and uh, me build a little song, you know, because as me say, whenever time me hear you is is a joy for hear you, you know, because you feel me up so much. You Glory. know, me I learn from you, I learn from you and uh, even when time me could be your father, me still I learn, you know. I me know say there's you know a lot of things out there for me learn in a, in a, in a the um in a the realms of, of Christ right now. Yes. And uh, me willing me willing to learn. That's why. Yes. You know, me just strong more time at the time I make some little song, you know. And me no mind if you can hear one little song with me, I'll just try and sing now. And things yes. because me know it's one wrapped up, you know. Because to me feel right now between God, you know, it mm -hmm. just let me be like mm -hmm. me turn on a little soft song, you know. Stuck yes. on you and it go like this. Stuck on God, I got a feeling down deep in my soul, God I just can't lose. Cause I'm on my way. Need it a friend god any way you feel now i guess i'll be with you till the end yes i'm on my way i've been reading my bible night and day god and i know where i'm going mighty god and i throw them all away with god inside my heart i can worship him today it's just like some little song just come to me. I mean, no, I've got to send them a little song there. So it's like yes. I kind of change them around and I do them around different and thing. Because, yes. you know, every time I go to church, it's just like me want to do something. Me just yes. want to say something. Me not just want to go on bench and, you know, me, me want to go with that fire there where inside of me. When I step up into the church, me carry my own fire. Me not go there, go look, no eat off of nobody. Come, me carry my own fire. Come on. You know, so pop. when we go in. When we go in, we're supposed to have something to say, you know, and we just want to do something. So right now, you know, me I try to just um, stand by my daughter where me I learn from her, you know. Yes. Because I haven't seen I haven't seen her for many years. Right. And um uh, since last year, August me come up and it's just like me, I make it at my point of duty. No, make it a little work and me tell him, say, you know, say me really active in the church, you know, so me can't take the Sunday thing. I mean I beg them not to call upon me. We shouldn't have them call upon me, me have to go, you know. But you know, right now, you know, from my heart, we mean to stand up and learn yes. everything about God because right now there's no other way. God is the way. My, there's my, no other way. My, I just, God is the way. You know? Me been there partying and me just want to dance to God now. Me just want to sing right. to God. Me just want to worship to God. Me that's just want. Right. Yeah, me just want to make God rewash me. My God. You understand? God. Every negativity out of me and everything that when we say we in the past, we're not of him. Just cancel that. You understand? And just build up him because me want to clean up the vessel. Yeah. Yes. Me don't want him pour. Me don't want him pour it. And when him pour it, it'll go down dirty. Panda. Yes. You know, me want to clean up myself and ready for God. Can we know? Yes. That? Yes. Him soon come. For real, yes. You know? 
That's my few words still. As we well, me, I learned it. Man, it's it's an honor. It's an honor, <laughs> to, and I give God all the glory. It's mm -hmm. an honor that God can use me to help to teach yeah. you, and to teach you, as you refer that you may you are much older than me, but yet still you're learning from me, and that's an mm -hmm. honor. Because and you, as we say, whenever time you put over the word, me just absorb it. Yeah, and it's that it is nourishment to me. So yeah. as long as long as me see your aunt, it's just like you have me. Yes. You know, me watch TV and you know, I pause it, you know, because I say, no man. It's just like me can't run in and run out. Me just want to absorb every word we are saying no. So me just know say, yeah. You know, we depend on the right track. Because as me say, this is my track to be with God. You understand? So yeah. just me just make up my mind to learn everything. You understand? And not I like one foot, not like one foot in and one foot out. And I thank you, and I thank you so much, mm -hmm. so much for the mm -hmm. word of encouragement. Because sometimes you're pouring out in so many people, and, yeah. and it seems like you're not going nowhere. And let me say this to um, to Facebook, um, Mr. Keith Cameron, um, a mighty man of God, is way in the United States of America. Yeah, way in the United States of America, and he stay way in the United States of America, and really a appreciate the words yeah. that I'm here. And it's so ironic because sometimes people that are in the, even in my own country don't don't appreciate it. Well well may I tell you sometimes sometimes you say you know say you know you, you need to get a visa you know uh, because it's yeah. it's not like it's not like you just don't there you know you need to get a visa and and, 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 and can move around. You understand? Because sometimes yeah you reach people still but you know they want to see you in person. You understand they want to see you person see and we are still but we know as you say are your season now so in due time you understand father will move you because look miss me spend a little time at england father himself met me god and he moved me back to Cayman. and then from Cayman he moved me here so it must be a reason of me i move around so mm -hmm. so it's just like now that me reach pan decider i think me more grounded you know, me more grounded. If you know, say me the monks, my daughter know, and you know she can teach me everything what me need for know. Because it's not like me is a God fearing youth. You understand? Mm -hmm. Me is a God fearing person. I mean, no say there's a God. I mean, love God because sometimes you know none of us perfect. Yes. Sometimes some little, sometimes some little thing come and you know you have to go back and check yourself because when me just come up, you know. You know, I want to tell you, you know. I me 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 stop at one little place you know, and I buy um and. I mean, I say, she now, you know, say over there, so we buy one scratch card. And she said, she said, Daddy, we have, you buy a scratch card. You know, say, you know, for gamble. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's just like, me just know, say, me not do something wrong. And with what she said to me, me have to not do it. Because through me come and me feet say, yes, probably a little luck there, so. Me can scratch off and card and win some whole of money. It's just like me, I take my time and I buy one little. I may mean, hide it from her, you know, but it's just like a pass me a party piece and I tell her. She buy me up. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to get rebuke from your own daughter. As 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 a mighty woman of God. Let me say say let me say this. As <laughs> as you say it's time to get the visa, not you? Yeah man, yeah man. And yeah, as, and you see, you see the end of the day. Me and not true, me I take you know from other day, I may I listen to you. You know, you we would not put over so much word to many people. Mr. Say is a clean hearted man and you mean people good. It's not about yourself. You understand else you would not come out and me listen to you. And you know, the words and everything and the teaching and everything, we know everyone on your line. That's why you find more and more people that come. And me listen to you other day. It's not like you you are charged nobody not now you want no money you're not big nobody not but it's the end of the day people love you and people are going to continue to love you and people want all poor in your said way so the end of the day when it come you accept it you understand yeah. and yeah you know, because the end of the day man have to look good for god right oh. and the end of the day oh, yeah. Not... <laughs> yeah man so me know you're the man like me still so you know whenever time you know, me, me have to look good. I me want to look good for God. You understand? So it's like when me used to go a party and, 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 you know, look good for God, party, go dance, and me just want to look good for God. 
So put myself together. Sometimes people see me you know, and I say, Pastor, you can't sit down up there. So me, I don't know, Pastor. But me just know to how me dress up, it come like sometimes I feel like me I go too hard. And the next time, but it's not like you no know, just shut and pants are wear again for man go church. Mm -hmm. You understand? And sometimes me have so much jacket and sitting at Jamaica, me left them. And just give people and say, if you don't if you not go to church, not take it, you know. Because at church we wear them going to party. Church. Yeah. I'm left everything at Jamaica because I just want to know say yes, who me give? Mm. A church I go. So I come here so I start all over back again. I get myself some different things. So mighty mighty I God. Somebody said before before, before I go and touch two or two or three more. Somebody mm. somebody might say clean as soap. Clean so yeah, yeah. Well, you said, um, I passed you said something yesterday morning, and Mr. Middles, I love doing you also. You know, where you say, um, smile a while and give your face a rest, smile, show your teeth, smile a while, show your teeth, and, 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 and give your gum a rest, smile a while, show your teeth, and give your gum a rest. Yeah, God bless you, God bless you, Father Cameron. It's yeah. a privilege to have, to have you. Um, yeah. to, to, to share. Mm -hmm. Um, I I definitely believe in releasing people in their calling. Yeah, I love yeah. love persons generate genuinely. Whether who mm -hmm. want to believe it, but I really love persons. I know where I'm coming from. I know where God has been taking me from, and I know yeah. where I'm going. And if mm -hmm. I don't know where you're going, then I'm saying you will last. True. I know where True. I'm going. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I know where mm -hmm. God is taking me from, mm -hmm. and I know where I'm going. You know, but you know, when the time comes and you say clean, you know, Apostle, you can write a book, you know, because I, mean, I listen, there's so much page where you talk about with stepfather and, you know, and a seller and all of these things. And it makes a man, if a man can go through so much things, so much things, man, he's a strong man, you know, and you go through. All of that and you come out different. You understand? So yes. you, have you have to continue the works. No changes, no did So I mean, I see no changes. You know, you know, I thank God. I thank God generally, and I'm saying this without any apology. I thank God for persons like you. I thank God for um Apostle Sheena Bennett and 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 Pastor Julie and, and I'm calling a few persons. Um mm -hmm. few is here as well. I thank God for many more. Um I don't want to leave with nobody so i don't want to call them more names and leave with everybody um that really encourage me really stand with me um to tick and thin um in my hard times because there 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 were there were times that i really want to say you know i'm gonna give up on this you know? mm -hmm. but god keep on saying i can't give up because people are depending upon yeah. me mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. I, and this is why I'm so passionate when it comes to God. Yeah. This is why I want person to excel in God because I know where God is taking me and, and I know where I am going. Yeah. Thank you so much for the word of encouragement. Let's mm -hmm. see if I can eat one or two more before I go. Thank you so much, Father Keith. Blessings, Bless man. Bless you, Pastor. Always. All right. Blessings, man. Yeah. Say, 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 say hello to your wife for me. All right, I will, I will, and um, I, it's just like to 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 me attached to this thing I write. I know we did want to come off of the line and link her up, you know, because she did her work, you know. We did want to come off of the line, send her the link and make she come on. But we say no, mm -mm, he too interested to me. Me no want miss nothing, so that's why I'm not stay on him. You know, but I come off, you know. <laughs> but the next time, I go hook her up and thing, you know. <laughs> All right, sure. Yeah, yeah, Take care. Sure. No, yeah. All right, blessings, man. Yes, see your works of God. It's not for you, but it's for others. And I believe, and I thank God for one of my good friends. Um, his name is Sean from in St. And he's now living in this United States state of America. Uh, a mighty chef man. Mighty chef. He can cook well. Um, believe me, that man has given me some great strength of encouragement. And I really give God thanks for him. He has reminded me some stuff that I never knew, never remember. Where, where, where the Lord has really taken me from to where, to, to, to now. And I really give God thanks. I wonder if I can get him, make him say one or two words before I leave. Because I realize that, that females are saying much. So I say we can get one more male and see if he can come down to give a word of encouragement. Um, um, 
to the people of God because I believe that I get it a little bit busy because I believe that people of God is really needed to hear some radical people in this time and in this season. I believe that let me see if we can contact one or two more persons and then I can go. I believe I just want to release people. He says, sorry, I'm at work. I understand man of God is at work, so he couldn't answer. If you don't answer, I'm moving on. There's so much person and the line begins to clog up. And I'm trying to get one or two more persons before I go. I'm on here for a while. And I said before, I'm just wanted to empower people of God. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm not here for fame, now, popularity, now, money, now, running on church or anything like that. I just want to build people. Greetings, woman of God. Blessed good night. Blessing, good night. I know you want a word, but can you give a word to somebody, a word of encouragement? Sure, no problem. I will try. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, this, is your privilege. Thinking... this is your privilege and this is your time. That's true. I was sitting and, on the bed and I pick up the phone and I was scrolling through Facebook because I was so bored. And I said, oh, let us see if I can find something on it to watch. And I was scoring. And same time I saw this live and I score past it and I go down back because I was looking for like some comedy or stuff to watch. And it's like a spirit said, go, go back. And I go back and I click on it. And I said, I have something to do. And I make sure I put the phone and the charge and I turn it up and put it on because I was looking some tea. And encouragement, yes, we might have some downfall, troubles come our way because I know that my grandmother always tell me, if you are not serving God, the devil don't know you. But when you are That's serving right. God every situation come up when it's not problem with children it's problem at your workplace problem with your husband problem with everything but my 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 understanding is that every time as a christian and as a believer every time you try to go up the mm -hmm. level that you want to go with god the devil fight your back down mm -hmm. No matter what the devil do, and no matter the the songwriter said, no the the hunkers hold though my ship has been battered, the hunkers all though the wow. sails have torn. Mighty God, I just wanna give God praise, and I just wanna tell everyone on this on this live, just hold on to this man Christ Jesus. Every dry bones that have been broken down, my God can rise it up back because he is the one who created us and he did not brought us on this world to leave us nor forsake us so when troubles come no matter how rocky the ship the, the, the storm is mm -hmm. no matter how rocky you are no matter how sad you are let us just bring you have a you have a time when you feel down yes depressed you know, sometimes you sit down and you worry and you say, God, where are you? God, why am I going through so much rough time? God, yes. why am I suffering from childhood until now I am still suffering? God, why why am I going through so much things? God, is it something that I have done Why I'm going through this? And you sit down and you just hear a little song come in your name, come in your, in, in your ears. You're calling my name to come into your arm to be safe from fear and harm. Knowing this, but I still choose to go my way. And you still say, you say that I am here who will supply your every need, every need. Oh Lord, we are sin, but you're still calling our name. So this is my my few 
word of encouragement no matter god came on earth and he died for us he died for our sin so it doesn't mean that because god died for our sin we are gonna do one thing over and over and over and over because we know that our god is an unforgiving god he has feelings god. just like us he has feelings just like us and he doesn't want us to keep on messing up ourselves in the one situation and then come back to him because one day he's gonna get fed up he's wow. gonna get I fed see up one day because he's saying he, he's gonna say enough is enough no. we are coming from a baby stage and he's trying to elevate us you have baby when they're when you know some baby creep when they are nine months, 10 months, God is taking us from a creeping level to a standing level and from right. a standing level to a walking level. So I am just encouraging everyone. Let's just rebuild our altar. If it is broken down, let us just rebuild it. No matter what situation comes our way, let us just keep on maintaining it because we wow. have God that never fails. We never have a fail. God who love us, who can move mountain for us. And once God love us, he will move any stumbling block in our way. So this is my few words of encouragement. I hope someone's soul will be blessed. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No backlash, no whiplash, no setup, no ambush, no sabotage over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every X, every spell, every necromancy, everything that is unlike God over your life. I break it. I renounce it and denounce it now in the atmosphere. I come against every negative tongue, every critical tongue, every hill tongue that has been spoken even against your life, even against your destiny, even against your money. I come against it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I call for God blessing and favor to follow you wherever you go in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Watch tomorrow. By this time tomorrow, God is going to blow your mind with something. Look out for it. I cover you now in Jesus' name. Thank you, man of God. Amen. Yes, yes it's my time to to go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then let's see if we can get one about let me get this last one before I really go. I'm on here for a while. Don't worry. Don't worry. God is always on time. Trust him. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Do not be discouraged. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you forever or wherever you go. God bless you. Until next time. Thank you so much for your time to take the time out to be here. I love you all. Keep on doing what's the best for God and for yourself. The time, the time of the time is at hand. No one will know the minute or the hour when the Son of God shall show his appearance. Get up. Stand up in the presence of God. Don't worry about a thing. For, for every little thing is going to be alright. Don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be all right i want to repeat that one more time don't worry about a thing because because every little thing is gonna be all right god love you god really love you serve him trust him believe in him worship him 
magnifying, magnifying beauty is beautifulness in holiness. God bless you. I cover your home, I cover your heart, and I cover your mind. And I cover your spirit now from fear, from worry, from anxiety, from confusion, from doubt, from worry, from phobia, from bitterness, from bad mind, from God truth, from strife. Uh, I cover you now from all these spirits of heaviness, from your body, from your spirit. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Until next time, we will love somebody. Don't take anything in life. It's a, let me say, it's a pleasure yesterday before I go. It is the first time in all my years that I can remember that I sat washing my clothes and my grandfather was washing their in washing its washing its clothes and it's the first time my grandfather wash together first time and i don't think it right that's a memory that will never come out of my mind first time my grandfather was about 84 83 84 roughly around that 80 and it's the first time myself and my grandfather washing together I don't take anything like you know why today I might see him tomorrow I may don't today I might see my grandfather and I will never get back that privilege again what what am I saying stop taking things like spend time with people see how small it is I don't care if it's two minutes three minutes four minutes five minutes a hour half an hour Spend time with people. Today, you see them. Tomorrow, yeah, you don't most of the see them. I feel so good to see that my grandfather watched good and I watched good. And that's a memory I never get. And I cherish that moment watching and talking to my grandfather. Because we were so, I was so busy, buddy, all over and preaching here, doing this there friends and totally forget that hey what about you what about your family and it's a privilege right, right? to spend the time with, with, with some of my relatives really relatives um, um, um it's a privilege i don't let's say i i give that thanks for the simplest things not the big things not money not fame not popularity not money um not material top i give that thanks for life for strength I am healthy, I am eating, all my faculty, uh, uh, all my body parts are intact. I give God thanks for all of these things. I give God thanks for the hair that I'm breathing. I give God thanks for my eyes, everything that I'm seeing. I give God thanks for freedom. My spirit is free. My mind is free. And I really give God thanks for that. You need to give God for this, give God thanks for the simplest things in life. God bless you. Until next time. This is your man servant here. A humble servant of God. A man that really loves God's people. Yes. A man that really and truly loves the people of God. I, I don't only love the rich, but I also love the poor. I don't only love the poor, but I also love the rich. What am I saying? I love everybody. It is my duty. It is my mandate. If I can't love you, who I can see, it doesn't make no sense sense that I'm worshiping God. Because I can't love God and don't love who I can see. First John chapter 4 verse 20. First John chapter 4 verse 20. Read it. I will never know what I still have to love you. I am like Christ. I don't have a mind, mindset of Christ. Father, forgive them for they know what they have done. Spread some love. Spread, spread some joy. Your joy can wake up somebody. Laugh. My laughing right now probably makes a lot of person happy. This man ever happy. He may have a joyful, he may have a smile on him face. It helps. God bless you. Until next time. In Jesus' name.